Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll explain you how to have equivalent circuit of hybrid model of BJT. In my last video, I have explained equations of hybrid model. If you have seen that video, you see in that I have explained you transistor as a two port network and in two port network, I have considered hybrid model. So with hybrid model, we are having H parameter equations. V1 is equals to H11 I1 plus H12 V2 and I2 is equals to H21 I1 plus H22 V2. That is how we can have hybrid parameter equations. So these two equations that I have noted over here. In that video, I have already explained how to have a calculation of these four different H parameters. See H11 that is input impedance, H21 that is forward current gain, H12 that is reverse voltage gain and H22 that is output admittance. That even I have explained along with proper nomenclature. Like you see in examination, they may ask you calculation based on nomenclature. Like they may ask you as per HIE. So HI means input impedance, E means common emitter configuration. HRB, R means reverse voltage gain and B means common base configuration. HOE, O means output admittance and E means common emitter configuration. So that is how proper nomenclature that one should know. So here see this H11 that is input impedance, H21 that is forward current gain, H12 that is reverse voltage gain and H22 that is output admittance, right. So let me write this H parameter equations with respect to proper nomenclature first. So you see H11 that is HI, HI means input impedance, H12 that is HR, HR means what you see, HR means reverse voltage gain. H21 that is HF, HF means forward current gain and HO means output admittance. So that is how I have replaced proper nomenclature over here. Now based on this equation, let us try to make equivalent circuit of this transistor. After that, I will explain you one practical example over here. So here if you talk about this first equation. So based on this first equation, you see what we can do. Here we have input. So here at input, we have voltage V1 as per this polarity you can observe. Now see this V1 is equals to what? V1 is equals to HI I1 plus HR V2. So here HI is what? Impedance. So impedance into current that is voltage. So HI is impedance. So this V1 that is equals to impedance that is HI and current through this that is I1 you see. So here current is I1 right and second element is HR V2. So HR that is reverse voltage gain. So reverse voltage gain that is unitless into voltage. So this is voltage only. So HRV2 that is voltage source over here. So I need to connect voltage source over here as per plus minus polarity like this, right? So this is voltage source that is HRV2. So you see in this equation, we have V1 that is equals to I1 HI plus HRV2 as per this equation, right? Now, see this second equation that gives you output end. So output end is port 2. So at port 2, you see at port 2, we are having how much voltage? We are having voltage V2, right? As per polarity V2 plus minus like this. And current over here, that is I2. Now you see. This I2 is how much? I2 is equals to HF I1 plus HOV2. So what is HF? HF is forward current gain. 
so hf is unitless into i1 means this is unit of current so as per kirchhoff current law you can say i2 that is equals to hf i1 plus hov2 where ho is admittance output admittance so admittance into voltage that is also current right so this current plus this current that is equals to i2 so here hf i1 that is current source right and second wing is hov2 so ho is admittance so here we have ho and across this voltage is v2 so current in this wing that is hov2 so as per kcl you can say i2 is equals to hf i1 plus hov2 right so that is how we can have equivalent circuit so this is what basic equivalent circuit that we have right now let me copy this circuit first here i'm going to explain you one practical example so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this circuit first now see in last video i have explained you proper nomenclature so in nomenclature we were been having h i e see second suffix second suffix that explains configuration right so first suffix that is i r o f i stands for input impedance r stands for reverse voltage gain f stands for forward current gain o stands for output admittance but second element that is giving you idea about configuration so there can be different configuration so here let me consider one case study let us consider a case of common emitter configuration so for common emitter configuration you see we will be having transistor like this where here we have input and here we have output so input is given over here you can observe so that will be plus minus v1 like this here current will be i1 and you see output will be plus minus v2 like this and current over here that will be i2 see this i1 that is base current and this i2 that is collector current right and this v1 this v1 that is base emitter voltage and this v2 that is collector emitter voltage vce right let me note it down here see this i2 that is equivalent to ic this i1 that is equivalent to ib this v1 that is vbe right and this v2 that is vce that is how it is there now with this let us have let us have equivalent transistor model as per explanation which i have given with respect to this equation right so here let me paste that circuit so here if you observe see we have this v1 that is vbe over here this i1 that is ib over here and this hi for common emitter it is hie over here this hr will be hre hf will be hfe ho will be hoe right i1 will be ib i2 will be ic over here and v2 that is vce over here right that is how this equivalent circuit will be there so first of all you need to understand what is the configuration and how to replace it with h parameter circuit so here we need to observe like in which configuration given transistor is there for example if it is of common emitter then see transistor will be placed over here as per this and then this circuit that one need to place over here so for ac analysis it is very essential first of all you need to identify ac equivalent circuit see that is even i have explained you in my earlier video for ac analysis we need to identify first for ac analysis we need to identify first ac equivalent circuit so to identify ac equivalent circuit we need to short circuit all the dc sources and we need to short circuit all the capacitors connected in circuit so you see this circuit that i have converted into ac equivalent circuit 
Now with this circuit, we are having common emitter a transistor. So this transistor that I need to replace by this H parameter model as per this. And if you do it in this way, you will be having equivalent circuit. Now based on that, whatever analysis that we do, that will be AC analysis. So that is how steps are there. And see here I am explaining you this hybrid model. That model can be other model even like RE model or PI model. So those models even I'll be explaining you in future coming videos. Now I think you are having fair enough idea about how one can replace transistor as model. Still if anything that would like to share, please note it down in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.